March. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's October 12, 2024. This is a line fire update. Thankfully, we don't have too much to worry about at the moment, but let me tell you what's going on. We are at 43,978 acres burned, 94% containment, so that's more than the other day when we did the, the previous update. Um, let's see here. Road closures, the 330 is closed in both directions from Highland Avenue to Live Oak. The 38 is open again. And uh, the current the current situation, hang on a second, I got, a, got my new phone. So the current situation is contingency lines around the line fire have been tested this last week by strong winds. But thanks to the hard work of firefighters and fire management personnel to date, lines have held well and have not been compromised. Heck yeah! Yesterday, an interior pocket of smoke from a smoldering tree was mitigated by air resources. Line improvement and line backhaul activities will consume a great deal of firefighters' time the next few days, along with suppression, repair on roads, drainage corridors, and dozer lines. Resource advisors are lending expertise and monitoring rehabilitation efforts around and within the perimeter of the fire. Smoke will still be visible well within the interior of the fire where difficult terrain has made access difficult. Aircraft will still be actively dropping water today and will be available to support any new starts. Fire danger is still very, very high. Fire danger indices are higher now than when the line fire first started on, on September 5th and any new starts will be resistant to initial attack. Well, that's not good to hear. The public is asked to be extremely diligent firewise and fire aware. With the influx of thousands of extra visitors into the area for a foot race and festival at the start of the modern gun hunting season, overnight patrol crews will be staffed strategically around the fire perimeter through the weekend. A debris flow, ta flow task force is being assembled that will be compromised of, or comprised of federal, state, and county co cooperators. This task force will focus primary on post-burn threats and communities during a runoff event in the coming months. Future messaging for the line fire will include more information about debris flows and provide information to residents about how to prepare for and protect homes and properties from the uh, potential devastation. Weather. Higher humidity and lower temperatures will further aid containment progression. No growth is expected thanks to calm winds and higher relative humidity recoveries. So guys, that is a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing, of course. I appreciate all their honesty about it though. They aren't blowing smoke. They aren't, you know, um, you know, sugarcoating anything. They're being absolutely honest where they are, you know, if any new fire starts right now, there's no way they're gonna be able to basically stop it initially. So that's, that's a little bit scary, but you know, these people are absolute heroes. I am so proud of each and every single one of you involved in this, in this firefighting, operation you guys are amazing just amazing and once again everybody logistically from people dropping firefighters off to all the people making them food every resource resource that has gone into this you guys are absolutely incredible so yeah that seems to be the update and uh we are leaving the Bear Mountain Ski Resort area, and in a couple months, that's gonna be covered in snow. And I hope each and every single one of you, every single one of you comes up here, enjoys our beautiful town, hits the slopes, spends some money up here, um, because you know what? The people up here who have had the courage to start their own businesses, um, they deserve the help. And uh, you guys are doing that right now. Our town is packed, the village is, the village is totally packed right now. Um, that part of town, the real touristy part of town has a lot of people with big smiles on their faces. Everyone's happy. It's so nice to see you guys up here. So um, thank you again for allowing me to report this for you guys. It's a real privilege. I hate that it's about a fire, but for those of you who've been watching my channel for, for a long time, or at least longer than these fires, 
you know my favorite part of the season. The reason this channel does well, part of the season is coming up. It's our snow season. And uh, I am a maniac out here driving through every single storm in the middle of the harshest parts of every single storm, just with my snow tires flying around, having a great time. And I really hope that you guys continue to join me, especially all the folks that I've gained from this fire coverage. I know snow and fire are complete opposites, so I hope you stick around. But uh, it is a lot of fun. We have a great community of people here. This channel is full of beautiful, loving, big-hearted, genuine people. Never imagined that was going to be part of this channel. I, I never, ever thought about it because it just never crossed my mind. Um, my best friends in my whole entire life are from this channel. Um, I love you guys. And thank you guys big time once again for allowing me to be a part of your life, for allowing me to share this information and do the best that I can for you all. I am in no means a representative of this town. I don't claim to be, but this town has adopted me and treated me with love and respect and I will always do the best I can to do my part. So thank you again for everything. And uh, yeah, you know what? We'll just drive through this little part of Moon Ridge. We got some coffee shops, some other shops, some gift shops, donut shops. This is, you know, one of my favorite parts of this whole entire town, but obviously the, the Big Bear Village is my favorite area, just like it is most people. But yeah, you guys, any questions you have, any questions at all, you guys are everything, everything to me. Don't hesitate, please don't hesitate. Send me a message. For those of you who have been here and actually left me any comments, you know that I respond to everybody. And if I ever miss anyone, I guarantee you it's not intentional. I spend all my free time just on these comments. You guys are worth it. You guys make me feel good. You guys have been helping me get through my father's death. And again, I love you. I love you very much. And thank you for giving me that freedom. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Peace out. It's October 12th, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. Woo!